Okay, we're looking at a uh, witch that is a shippable witch. It comes apart into five major pieces. To assemble her, you need a number two Phillips head screwdriver and a small flathead screwdriver or flat screwdriver uh, standard. And going through each of the pieces, you have the left and right cape pieces with their servos and that drive the, the elevators on the cape. You have the rear broom wisps that serves the rudder function and the connector rod that goes to the uh, rudder servo, but it's really on the aileron stick on the uh, transmitter. You have the lower legs and the rolling landing gear for touchdown. And these fingers are the fingers that the screws in the main body attach to. Plus you have one stabilizing screw for the broom. And then of course the main body. The main body of course has the motor, has the uh, rudder servo, has the battery compartment and a retractable nose gear that is used just to really break the rotation of the witch on landing. Again, you should expect in normal operation 20 to 30 percent of the time to have minor dings and things that you will have to fix. I always recommend coming to the field with a roll of black duct tape because it's great for doing just minor repairs. With that, enjoy your witch, Ed. Uh, I know uh, it'll be fun flying her. I always enjoy flying mine. Having just flown and trimmed her, I'm going to show you exactly where I'm going to put a mark right here on the top, which is an alignment mark. So when you put the uh, flight control mechanism to the servo with the screw, which will be clear to you in a moment, make sure that's aligned and should be perfectly trimmed or fairly close to trim. Okay, now I'm going to come around and I'm going to remove the screw or loosen the screw. I don't want to remove it. As I say, it's hard to get back into its proper position. Now that I have that loosened, I have the second screw that holds the broom on. The first one, of course, came was in the leg piece that we do in step two. But I'm taking it apart, I'm backing this screw. I've learned to just go ahead and fully take it out and then put it back in. Now, this is pretty tight up here, so just make sure you work the, uh, the music wire out of the servo attachment, and then you just slide the whole rear broom off. And you taking the putting it on? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just slide it off so it's got the side. Note that the wire does go into the guide uh, as you feed the uh, broom, the rear broom on. The basic glues that I use for repair are. Gorilla Glue for repairing foam to foam or uh, Foam Safe CA. And for all the major support issues, I use a 24 hour, 30 minute set epoxy that's usually good. It needs a 24 hour full set time. The second step of the assembly prior to putting on the cape is attaching the bottom set of legs. There are four screws, two on each side, that, uh, that bind the plywood reinforcement behind the foam. And they need to be securely tightened. And then there's one screw back here, which is a stabilizing screw for the whole rear end of the, uh, of the broom. It also is a second screw that goes through and sets the broom in its place. So I will take this one off first. <laughs> And one of the tricks that I have learned is the best way to put the legs on is to slide from the rear because, because the legs are at an angle, the little fingers that the screws go into 
are wider than the top and you can't just put it in coming straight down. And I'll demonstrate that in a second. And you got to work it a little bit to, to get it on. We will have no camera failures during the uh, gumbo flying. <laughs> Do multiple cameras, I'll cover it. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that's always safe and have the GoPro just sitting around. Okay, now when you have all the screws loose, and I'll just take them out. Again, the best way to work this is slide it to the rear and the bottom legs come off cleanly. Now when I ship it, this rear screw will be in place and these four screws will be securely attached in the main body. The next step in the assembly of the witch is attaching the cape. The, what you need is a standard uh, number two Phillips head screwdriver and uh, this will be in the parts pack. This is the coupler for the rear spar. You just slide that on to one of the carbon fiber tubes and then slide that coupler onto the other to make one big cape. On the standard build, uh, the cape is all in one piece. Uh, this is a shippable build and uh, both ha cape halves go in a separate FedEx box. Since we've already put the legs and the broom on the witch, we now just flip her over and set her up. This is sort of a two-person job with the, the two-halved cape. But you can see the cape itself has eight screws that attach the cape to the main body. You lay the cape on top in the approximate position, walk around, and then you feed through the two plugs for the elevator servos in the cape. You pull them through so you make sure that you don't have, so everything is flush. You align the front of the cape with the indentation line here so that you know all the screws line up. And then put your hand underneath to provide opposite pressure as you screw each screw in. And just make sure you get them down and tight. You go through this process for all eight screws and the cape is attached. <laughs> and I'll run it in reverse like I'm putting it together. <laughs> Okay, we've put on the cape uh, and we pulled through the two connectors for the two elevator servos for each side of the cape. And what you have is you have a coupler here, two uh, female plugs that are attached to the receiver. It doesn't matter which plug the, plug the male plugs plug into, but it does matter that they both get plugged in. So just firmly, make sure you uh, align the yellow wire with the yellow wire on each plug when you plug them in or else the servos will not work. You won't damage them but they won't work. Make sure they're firmly pushed in and now the elevators are ready to go. The next thing I want to show you is that on the gear switch you have the front landing gear that comes out of the broom and the function of this landing gear is only for landing and it's designed because there's a tendency for the witch to rotate fairly quickly once it hits on the main gear because the main gear is so far behind the center of gravity and this breaks the rotation without breaking the broomstick or doing damage to the witch. Just a, a side note uh, before we get ready to launch when I just have it sitting on the ground, I always leave the cap up here in the front. I once left it back here and accidentally turned on the motor and chopped up a cap. So uh, it's not a good practice, but this is a good place to keep it so you never forget to put it on before you fly. Uh, of course, when you're picking it up and just toting it around, the good 
good way to keep it on the ground is on its back like it is like her like she is right now very stable wind won't bother her. when you pick it up with the battery in she balances very well like this so you just pick her up by the broom handle to carry her around uh, now the trick is to get into hand launch position and Bill who's done a lot of launching for me will sort of demonstrate that the two key points to look at is that you hold the witch back here and you can get your fingers stuck in here so the hand launcher has to be aware to get his hand clear of this without hitting one of these and breaking them off or hitting the back of the broom now we've never had a problem when we've broken any of this okay now she's fully assembled ready for flight with the exception of the magnetic cap which goes right there in place now which which alba is ready to fly a launcher will want to hold it for launch at about 10 to 15 degrees nose up and just give it a little toss it's not a big running toss it's not a, it has plenty of power plenty of wing area and it'll fly right out of the hands and you can notice where my hand is it's underneath this carbon cross piece which keeps which ensures that my fingers don't go up into the prop and you hold the front here because there's a piece of plywood along the front of the leg and of course the second hand is back here on the broom and again people with bigger hands have trouble getting out of here so just tell them to lightly hold that for stability because the main weight is really held by the front hand okay and at this point that's when you come in, Bill dips her down, and you put the hat on. Okay. A critical thing, not a critical thing, but it's always advisory to launch into the wind. Okay, I'm going to do a run up, flight control check, and then we're off. Real good. There we go. Which flight? Alba number one.